Hello again. It's a Priscilla Batsell in the backyard. It's Spring Hill at Expression Start Studio Gallery. Tripping right over your tongue right out of the gate. I have a few swipe cards and a butter dish and an OXO omelet turning spatula. And it's a little cooler than it was, which is really good because I think paint would have just... You know what? I'm going to use the bigger bottle. I use my Artist Loft bottles that I... I mix my black paint half and half with latex from Walmart, but uh, I use the Artist Loft bottles to store larger quantities for things like spreading paint when I start a video or start an artwork, whatever. I don't mind if some of that paint gets really close to the edge. I want to do another swipe. I don't know if I should call them ghost swipes or not. I don't know who coined that phrase, but um, whatever I'm doing, it's similar. And, and I was doing these two years ago, but in slightly different ways adding little curly cues and hearts and stuff, cutesy stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to drag my finger around the edge of that a little bit. Not that it makes any difference. I'm going to scrape that off and throw it in the bucket. And then I'm going to tell you that I love the colors that I have been using recently, which include some very shiny blue, which I'm not sure where I put. Darn. Okay, well, you know what? Instead of that, we're just going to use some cobalt today. And I believe that this is metallic, so we'll give it a shot. Now I have tried to convince myself that I less is more as far as using the, is that the enamel? No, I need a bead of enamel. There's the enamel. I've got two, wait, I've got two enamels and I'm going to use both of them, I think. And I want to use less is more just because I love the colors that I have here. I'm inclined to say that I might want to have something else. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's going to get buried. So what else do I want? I want some turquoise. So let's just do that. I don't know if I'll keep any of it. I don't recall having kept any of it recently. And I think I'm going to give myself some gold. And there I go. I still got too much paint again. All right, so what that means is I'm going to bring one of these little saucers forward, and when I do my, when I use my swipe cloth, my swipe cards, I'm going to scrape off the paint, and hopefully be able to use that, which has been the case so far. Now I don't know how much of this I can use, how little of it I should say, and get away with. But here goes nothing. Here goes the the pink enamel. I'm using enamels because they often help sell selling, and the black enamel. I don't mind if the, if the middle doesn't work. Now if I get creative in the middle of this and decide that something cool is happening, I may do anything, including pull this right over to the edge of my tile right now. I'm going to start at the gold side, and I'm going to try and clean off my acetate card. I'm going to do it twice because I don't want that, um, that singular mark in the center yet. I might. See, I've got all this paint on here and it's going to be not muddy because it's got blue in it. I didn't pull it over to the edge, but that doesn't mean that I can't. use that color. Now what I've been doing so far is traveling to the far side and I'm going to try that right after I scrape off my card. So I'm going to try it with a little piece, although I want some of that paint to go down over there. Here, I'll tell you what, why don't I grab a finger full of that scrape off the residual of that and let's do the opposite on the opposite side because I'm trying to do whatever it takes to keep some of the beautiful colors that I love so much. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a fingerful from my residual dish which is really handy. I'm going to tap those over the edge. Oh. 
scraping this back down here, scrape it off again. Now, I kind of want to just be so bizarre. <laughs> Go figure. Can I do that? I want something smaller than that. I might have something smaller than that here. There I do. So let's grab a different card. See how I feel about that. Go from the middle again on the other side. Trying to keep my lines kind of straight. I like that. I'm going to scrape it off. I got no reason to, to not scrape it off because they're pretty colors. I want that gold right here. And push it over the side again. I did something similar to this yesterday with mostly blues. And I'm always thinking that I might want to do something different entirely. Do I have a clean side? No, I don't. I want to make sure I start with a clean side. I might even wipe that off on my, my paint skirt completely. I have a rag, but it's currently drying out in the wrong position. So let's grab some of that gold again. I don't like that I keep forgetting to move the... the item to the edge. Now, I've got a really cool pattern there, to be honest with you. I like it, but I kind of want to keep going and doing other things. And I think what I could do is experiment over here. If I'm quick enough, maybe I won't lose all my cells. I'm loving doing these. I guess they're geometrics, really. If I'm quick enough and I can poke my finger in the, my residuals, I can keep them. I'm really contemplating wanting to use a skewer for something. So why don't I just try that first. This is kind of bugging me a little bit, but I don't think it matters because I'm going to just drag and drag again. And drag again. And I wish I could remember all those that sequence of events right there, but I don't think it really matters that much because it doesn't have to be the same everywhere. Matter of fact, it might be kind of more interesting if it were different. This right here is crooked, which is driving me crazy, and I'm probably not the only one. So I'm going to flatten that out. And then, I think I'm just going to go right down the middle. Keep following my instincts. Kind of want some gold right there, and I'm not sure where. There we go. I got it. So I like that and it gives me an idea that if I want something else, I should just give it to myself. I really want to go find that blue. And I have got some white pearl here somewhere. I'll just use the Anita's white metallic for right now. For the moment I'm just putting two lines in. It reminds me that I have tri-tip bottles that I could use. I want something that sort of evens that out, draws the eye elsewhere. I've got some really neat cells here. I think this is it right there. I 
I want more of that beautiful turquoise. I have a striation up here and I want to try and use my basting brush to cheat and cover. Actually, I'm liking a lot of that, but what else? I wonder. I could put copper in there. I could put orange in there too. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to look at it first. You know what? That's pretty interesting. I'm just going to dip a few tips in there and see how I like it. I do kind of like it. So I'm going to give myself permission to put a little bit of orange down in my container. And then just add a few things here and there. And I could spend quite a while playing with this, I'm pretty sure. I'd like to get the positions that I put them in right. I don't think it needs a lot. Definitely needs those two paint bristles to not keep touching each other. I guess wiping that off might cure that somewhat anyway. So just a few little orange spots and uh, They're pretty subtle, which is good, I think. So subtle as to not show up at all anymore. <laughs> Come on, separate. Very, very subtle. So I've got my edges to cover. So much for subtle. One thing I really didn't want was those two to be together, so I'm going to attempt to fix that. And that's not bothering me too badly, and I'm looking for my turquoise, and then I'm going to call it good, and I've got three minutes left. I'm going to rinse off my basin brush, give it a quick dry. and contemplate on what I might want and what it, where I might want it. And it occurs to me black is calling me and I think black would be really cool if I could not overdose it. Come on out. So two just much shorter. That's bothering me. I wish those wouldn't stick together. Yeah, I like the black. Now I'm just composing. I'm going to keep wiping those off with my hands too. I'm wondering about a little bit more white or the pearl at least. I'm thinking over here maybe. Yeah, that's not bothering me. I think the same thing over here would be perfect. I don't really want to lose all those beautiful cells and there are some beautiful cells. And last but not least, I love that color shifting purple from folk art so much that I'm going to give myself an opportunity to have a little more and create what I hope to be a work of art. And I've got really good balance in a lot of places. And I don't think I overdosed much of anything too badly. I want my little stripes to be shorter than the basting brush. Well, that I like a lot. 
So thank you guys for joining me. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. Much less tongue tripping, saying that if you watch the videos longer, you help me out, and I appreciate that. I'm going to be covering my edges, and I'm probably going to be using the paint that I put aside to do that, but um, I really, really like this. Where's my torch? I torched to release the bubbles caught in the paint. My paint pouring recipe is under the video, along with uh, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. You can find PayPal and Patreon there also if you are interested in helping support the studio's art supply habit. And you will be automatically entered if you donate $10 or more in a monthly drawing where you will get to pick one of the prizes offered. And you can see the prizes offered not only as a receipt on a receipt that I send you from an email, but you can see them on the end screen video, exhibition video that I make usually right around the middle or the third week of the month. So, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I'm pretty happy about it. And I am just thinking that I want one more. Come on out. I've got two minutes to tell you guys that I do sell my artwork. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I also <laughs> have an Amazon link underneath the video. And you can shop there at no added cost to you, and it helps me out a lot, eventually. Yes. Good. I needed just that one more to go. So I've got a crib sheet. Check your notifications are turned on. Check your subscriptions are turned on. Thank you for 86,000 subscribers, or very nearly within, within 50 or so at this moment today. Um, I love you guys dearly. Thank you for the wonderful comments you leave me all the time. Thank you for the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. And um, what else is there? Playlists. Uh, there are 1,200 videos organized uh, in 11 playlists by the 100, and one is being populated, and all kinds of genre. So check for created playlists after you look for playlists. Uh, Teespring, video Teespring clothing underneath the video is all over print leggings and t-shirts, and any shopping you do helps me out, including if you go to Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio, Gallery Totes, and more, where you can find what I've been putting on Fire Nerd America and Pixels.com since about 2013. Um, like I said, just press shop now. If you're looking for tomorrow's video, you could check Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook, which is for students, or the community board on my YouTube channel. We'll usually have that. Um, if you watch longer, you help my placement on YouTube. The YouTube algorithm understands that you like me when, when you watch longer. I would really love your thumbs up, and I will be definitely spending a couple of minutes adding paint to areas that don't, didn't have any on the edges and after that I'm gone. So what else can I tell you guys? I think I did say that my email address is under the video if you are interested in making a purchase. It's the most supportive thing you can do to keep me on YouTube and keep me rolling because paint supplies are not inexpensive and I try and keep coming up with new ideas and new ways to do things all the time but somebody's got to foot the bill and I'm trying. I love you guys. I will see you anon probably have one more minute and uh, probably not much reason to keep you hostage here. <laughs> and I will finish after I let you go fixing up my edges. Bye for now. Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida. I wonder if I can get all of that in there. Nope. Yep. All right. Hopefully that's down between the end screens. I'll see you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.